Hi Girl Scouts, my name is Ellen Jin. I'm the art director on Spirit Writing Free. Today, we are going to be drawing a human character, and I chose Lucky. So when I draw human characters, I like to uh, roughly get all the measurements. When I say measurements, it's about uh, kind of roughing out where your head is going to be, how big your body is going to be, how long your legs are going to be. So uh, the measurement that I use is this little circle. So the human characters in Spirit, actually it's uh, made of maybe six different circles all together. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a circle and multiply them, uh, multiplying them six times. You can sort of imagine where the head goes, which is going to be this area. And we're going to divide up these circles to make the bodies and the legs and the arms. Okay, first of all, I think it's important to um, mark where shoulder goes. Uh, right above, right below the head, there needs to be neck, so I'm just gonna give it a little distance between the neck and the shoulder. And I think Lucky's shirt is as long as her body length and it's gonna come down to maybe two circles. This is her shirt right here. And her leg is going to start somewhere right below where the third circle starts. And if you draw uh, the line right on the half point on the fifth circle on the bottom, that's where her knee is. So just indicate where the hips are and draw the line straight down and that's where the knees are. And we'll kind of mark where the knees are with smaller circles. And when you continue the line down, and this is where her ankles are going to be. So I'm going to pull up the paper a little bit. And we draw Lucky's feet. Spread out a little bit here, like this. Lucky has a very long neck. So I'm going to extend her neck down a little bit. Um, this is when you work out um, all the details. Uh, the rough rough stage. When you draw a neck and think it's a little shorter, then you can always extend it. This is where you can make a mistake and sort of uh, try something and if it doesn't work out, try again. Her sleeves are really puffy, so I'm going to draw another balls. Okay, that didn't come out right. So uh, her leaves are, sleeves are a little puffy, so I'm going to draw them I'm gonna represent them with the oval shapes here and see how it works out. Well, drawing her with the arms kind of stretched out like this is kind of boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her uh, in a pose. So let's talk about the, what we're gonna do. Here, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax her arm a little bit here. And I'm gonna have one of her arm, her screen right arm, folded and have her hand rest on her hip. So when we draw a human being, upper body, how do you measure where the arms go? Where are the elbow joints? Usually, you can draw the line right in between upper body and lower body. And you can sort of draw the line connecting from the waist area to the elbow and that's where the elbows are. Okay. So let's focus on the face a little bit because we sort of got the body measurements. Okay, if you draw the line straight down, I mean straight across this circle, this is where maybe the eyes are gonna be. But we're not drawing the eyes yet. I think we need to have more uh, lines drawn before we start drawing eyes. Also, draw another line here 
sort of a halfway between the top and the bottom and draw another line on the bottom and draw the line straight, straight down the middle. You see this line right here that I drew? This is where her mouth is going to be. And I think right here, this is our inner corner of eye starting. And you can place sort of a roughly draw eyes like this. And Lucky has a small nose right around here. Her face is kind of round. It's a little bit bigger around the eye, but it gets really smaller at the bottom. So now I'm going to sort of carve out her face shape. She has a little pointy chin on the bottom. And her ears will start where the eyes are, like this. She has sort of big ear. We're gonna talk about drawing hair later, but then um, let's talk about drawing eyes. So we gotta remember that Lucky's eyes uh, are a little bit at an angle. So outer corner of eyes are a little bit higher than the inner corner of eyes. So you just draw curvy lines around it, make sure they connect. And you can draw circles for eye iris. And she has really thick eyelashes, so I'll add more volume to the top of the eye, eyelid that represents eyelash. Let's give it a little smirk. If you raise one corner of eyes, it becomes nice natural smile. Whereas if you just draw a symmetrical smile, it becomes very mechanical. And you can bunch your skin a little bit by drawing a little bit of line there. So it's just got a nice smile. Lucky has a long, beautiful hair. How do we go about that? Well, just think about this as your head without the hair, and we're putting a wig on. So, she has a little curl, and I'm just gonna follow this hairline. Everybody has hair starting a little bit below their top of the head, so we have this, this area to fill. So, I'm just gonna mark that this is where her hairline starts, and put the wig on top long, volumetric, wavy hair. See, all I'm doing right now with a blue color indicating where my drawing, what my drawing is gonna look like, roughly. And later what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take black pencil and then tie those this down. So if you put a tracing paper over your paper, it's gonna look like this. The bottom layer drawing is going to look a lot lighter than what it used to be before. So it allows you to see what you're doing on top of it better. So I'm gonna start cleaning up her face a little bit now. Take dark pencil. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her face first. The line for the face. Because we already have rough drawings all sort of figured out on the bottom, it's much easier to draw now.
Drawing one eye is easy, but drawing the other eye symmetrical is always not easy. But try to draw the other eye as symmetrical as possible. Symmetrical meaning same as the other one, the other side. And here's a little nose. And here's mouth. mouth. She has a beautiful lips, so you want to make it show. She has a little clumps of hair in front of her ear. And ear sticking out behind that. A nice volume of hair. On her head. I'm gonna go back to eye. Oh, for face expression, you can add eyebrow. You can do a lot of a lot of face expression with eyebrow. I draw, I drew just a little normal eyebrow. But if I wanted to make her little angry, all you have to do is raise the eyebrow. If I wanted to make her sad. Or concerned, all you have to do is change the eyebrow like this. And of course, you can change the shape of lips. For now, we're gonna draw Lucky when she is happy and confident. Here I'm putting up the neckline. We already know how it looks like because we worked it out in a rough stage. Here's our shirt. Like to give the bottom of the bottom of the shirt a little wavy line, so it looks like real shirt fabric. She should have a little sash. She wears them all the time with her pants. Boots are usually worn on top of the pants, so I draw boots a little bit wider than the lines that describes her leg. Okay.
front of our arm relaxing. So this is how you think about the hand. It's sort of like upside down trapezoid shape. This is your palm. And this is your thumb. And you just have to put one, two, three, four fingers on the top. Middle finger being the longest and index finger and ring finger a little smaller and the pinky the smallest like this so I'm just gonna draw this palm in an angle like this and then put four fingers bending like this around our hip Oh, I compare that to the other finger, the other the other hand, it's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna have to make it a little bigger. For you guys out there, you probably have to take an eraser and erase it and start from the beginning. I'm just gonna finish this drawing with finishing this hair. bit of adjustment. The eyes, make our eyes a little bit bigger. Just going to give our a little shading. So if you remove the rough drawing layer, here's Lucky. And I see, I, I see the areas that I can improve, which is the hair. Maybe I'm going to darken her hair so she looks more like Lucky that we know. I'm going to add little details on her shirt.
Here it is. Lucky.